What's up guys, welcome back to Unreal Dev Hub. Today's topic is decals. Decals are absolutely huge for adding detail and depth to your game's environment. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to make and add decals to your game. Let's jump in. All right, so first off, what are decals? Decals are actors that you can place your, in your environment that derive from materials. You can use them to add detail like grunge or blood or dirt that are going to basically uh, stamp themselves onto actors in your environment. So here we can see them on rocks, walls, the floor. And let's dive in on how to make one. So in our content drawer, what we're going to do is we're going to right click and say new material. We're going to call this M underscore decal underscore grunge. So this is our grunge decal right here. And we're going to double click now to open this up. So here in my blank material graph, what we're going to first do is we're going to go over to our material domain on the left, and we're going to select the option for deferred decal under material domain. We'll see it sort of go green like this. That is totally fine. We're going to see a warning right here that says only use uh, translucent, elf composite, or modulate. So there are benefits to all these different types of materials, but for today's demonstration, we're just going to use the translucent blend type. So now we see this disappear. Again, that is fine. What we're going to do now is we're going to want to use a uh, either a black and white alpha map or a grayscale alpha map. Uh, in this situation, the one that I'll be using has white um, and then a translucent background. You could also use something that's white with a black background. Uh, it's totally fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag. We'll start with our little uh, splatter. So I'm going to drag this off into our material graph. We'll see our texture sample pop up right there. And I'm going to right click on this and I will say convert to parameter. So I'm gonna call this alpha map. And as I mentioned before, you could use the RGB if you have a black and white map without a proper alpha. Um, but we're in this situation gonna drag off the alpha, which is that transparent background into our opacity slot right here. Um, and so what we're also then going to do is we're going to uh, right click and say constant three vector to give us a color. We're going to convert to parameter right here by right clicking. And we will say color overlay. And we're going to right click one more time and we're going to say texture sample. And this is going to be our grunge texture. This is going to be our overlay should we want to sort of change the, the color up a little bit. And then I'm going to use a starter content texture. So right here where it says texture, I'm going to type ground. And then I know there's a gravel material. So I'm going to use this gravel diffuse map right here that comes with the starter content. I'm going to drag off here. I'm going to say multiply. I'm going to drag off here into the multiply. And I'm going to drag this into the base color. So now that we have that, we're going to start to see, oh, my material editor is a little wonky. We'll start to see this pop up here. We're going to hit save and what's happening. So right now, because the color overlay is black, the multiply is making it completely black. So we're gonna go ahead and change this color up a little bit. We'll make this like a brown, hit okay. And then now we can see our material. So we'll make this a little bit lighter so you can see it. So now it's like a little tan, we'll do something like this. And we'll hit save. So now we'll go straight to our map. And what we're going to do is we'll go from our content drawer. We're just going to grab this material and we're going to drag it straight out into our environment. And already we can see that it sort of splatters itself onto our ground plane. So if you press, if you press G on your keyboard, you're going to change into the game view. So that'll help you see this bounding box that is here with this green outline. And this is basically the bounds in which this decal is going to be applied. So the decal uses the scale. So you can use your scale gizmo to scale this up in the world. You can use your transform details right down here in the details panel for scale. Um, an important thing to note is that this decal is applied um, not just to objects on the ground, but so when you see that I move this to the left here, it's gonna start to uh, kind of stretch upwards on the wall in a way that you know definitely isn't ideal. So if you want to use something like this in the ground, you're going to want to scale this um, downwards like that. 
so that we don't see this material stretching up on the wall like that. So now if I right click here and say create material instance, um, I'll just create an instance of this grunge that's called brown. And I'm going to click this here. And we'll now have these vector parameters here. And I can change the color of this a little bit here to make a darker brown material. So if I go now and I grab my brown, drag it out, you'll see it is a little bit darker here. Um, and we can see that on the floor there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this sort of edge decal. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select my grunge decal. I'm going to right click. I'll say create material instance. And we'll call this wall edge dirt. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go up to my alpha map right here, which is a texture parameter for the alpha map. And I'm going to go into my own content drawer. And I'm going to find this edge material right here, this edge texture. So I'm going to hit this gray arrow right here to add that in. And now we can see that the material has changed and the alpha is now different. And if I give myself a little more wall right here, now I can grab my decal that I just made for the wall edge dirt. And I'm dragging that out into my viewport. I'm going to rotate that into place. And now I can move this along my wall. So now I can again duplicate this by alt dragging with my left mouse. And I'm going to scale this up a little bit so we have a little variation like that. Drag it like that. Cool. And so now we've added a little bit of dirt and variation to our material. So one thing you're going to notice is if I press play and I step over some of these decals, we're going to see that it has automatically applied that material to my body. So this is a side effect of decals and one of the reasons that you're going to want to control the bounding boxes of uh, these materials. Um, so if we see here, a lot of times you're going to want to scale this inwards to make sure that we're not splattering it across the player. Alternatively, uh, in the options, so if I go into the details panel for the static mesh and I search decal, you can change whether or not static meshes and skeletal meshes receive decals right here. So if I click this checkbox, it's no longer going to receive the decals. And if I go into my third person character and I select my mesh right here and I type decals in my decals panel, if I change receives decals to false. Now when I walk around my map, we'll see that decals are no longer applied to my character skeletal mesh. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you can make good use of decals in your game to increase the visual quality of your game's environment. Have a wonderful day and stay tuned for more Unreal Engine 5 content and tutorials. Have a great day.